there can be no doubt about his sex. Despite the feminine appearance that every young man of the time aspires to. And there can be no doubt about his upbringing. Good food, education, a nanny, loneliness and isolation. And because this is England, Orlando would therefore seem destined to have his portrait on the wall and his name in the history books. But when he, that is, I, came into the world, he was looking for something else. Though heir to a name that meant power, land and property, surely when Orlando was born, it wasn't privilege he sought, but company. Ah, oh, see the virgin rose, how sweetly she doth first peep forth with bashful modesty. That fairer seems the less ye see her may. Lo, see soon after how, more bold and free, her bared bosom she doth broad display. 
Though see soon after how she fades and falls away. So pass it in the... Is this a worthy topic from one so clearly in the bloom of youth to one who would desire it still? Fair Virgo, gracious majesty, your um, bloom is legendary. And these were, of course, not the sentiments of a son, uh, but of a poet. Now, what would please you? All that is mine is here for your pleasure. All you call yours is mine already. <laughs> I want you here in England with me. You will be the son of my old age and the limb of my infirmity. My favorite my mascot. Come. Ah, uh, this is my victory. Come, your handsome leg. For you, and for your heirs, Orlando, the house. Your Majesty, I am forever... But on one condition. Do not fade. Do not wither. Do not grow old. Interesting person. 